what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to your 16th tutorial in this awesome Ajax chat room and in this video we're going to be beginning to style pretty much the layout of the interface and we're going to start with the CSS file and then I'm going to do the HTML file some people like to do it backwards but I think for this video it's going to be easier this way so here it is here's the interface of course we have just a very simple table here and we have two main areas the areas where all the messages are going to be and of course the area where the user can pick their color and under it we have a little form where they can of course you know write their message so this is just the interface of course nothing is working because it's not connected to my server anymore so for now we're just going to go ahead and style everything so the first thing I want to do is make a new file and just save this as chat.css alright looking good so before I get started you know making any cool like layouts or anything let's just go ahead and style the overall what I put void body so these are gonna be the general rules for basically the entire um, chat room I guess you could say so font family um, I'm gonna make mine Is my microphone making weird noises that should be better to Homa why can I not type as soon as I start making a freaking tutorial I can't type so now the entire font is gonna to be to Homa <coughs> on everything now the next thing I want to do is you see how the main table has a black border of one pixel and it's not exactly butted up against you know the edge of the website um if it was then it would look weird actually let me go ahead and change that real quick and show you guys you see how it looks a little, little weird when I do that? Well, what I want to do is I want to give a margin of 5 pixels, and then it pushes it away, and it doesn't look like, you know, it's built into your browser. So in order to do that, just go ahead and give your body a margin of 5 pixels. Now for the font size, I'm just going to go ahead and set this as 12 pixels, and for a text align, go ahead and set that at left so this is pretty much going to be your basic default styling so now what we want to do is we want to style the overall chat room itself so this section so later on I'm gonna make a div called content not content see how you may confuse that and the border of course as you can see this is just a one pixel solid black border and it also has a margin bottom of 10 pixels so border one pixel solid black <clears throat> margin bottom of 10 pixels and that's just so everything isn't butted up and you know tight close together now the next thing we need to do is we need to style this input area right here so the border is a little bit different color it's the well let me go ahead and show you guys so of course the input and this is going to actually style all inputs on your entire web page so if you want to only style this input for example if you have uh, you know more than this <coughs> chat room that you're making then what you can do is you can give it you know a span or an ID but for right now we'll just go ahead and stick with this so border the color is 999 which is basically really dark gray and one pixel and solid and for the font size I'm actually gonna set this to 10 pixels now what we did is we basically styled the overall you know pretty much your entire chat room and this is just the chat section itself and this input is just this little input field right here so now what I want to do is I want to style this position or excuse me this area now this area where all the messages appear I'm gonna call it scroll so basically what we want to do is we want to create a div and we want to make sure that the user whenever we have messages that get too much and they are longer than the area itself that the user can scroll down or scroll up and see the previous messages so that's what area I'm gonna do right now let me give myself a bit more space alright so remember this is a scroll area right in here so scroll now the first thing position 
relative so it doesn't appear all crazy all over my web page and I want to give it a certain width which is 340 pixels and of course the width and the height of yours is probably going to be dependent on you know where you're sticking it on your web page but for right now this one which happens to fit nicely in my screen recorder is 340 by 270 pixels and also for overflow this is actually pretty important go ahead and put auto now if you don't know what overflow is you know how this little area right here the scroll area is 340 wide by 270 well what happens when we have a bunch of messages and it exceeds that height well whenever we have overflow auto then that means that let the browser handle it and what the browser does is it puts a little scroll bar right here and that's the exact function that we want if you don't want a scroll bar for some weird reason then you can go ahead and override that with another CSS property but for right now auto is just fine alright so basically we did all the styling except for this little area on the right hand side this is scroll this one I called color picker and this is actually the last element that we want to style and for this what I want to do is I actually want to just center align this this little palette right here so text align center and actually even though it says text align it actually centers everything um, you know nice little tidbit of information now the padding top I'm gonna go ahead and set that at 30 pixels and what that's gonna do is it's gonna move this palette down 30 pixels because I, th I just thought it looked weird when it was butted right up against the top and also you see how it has kind of space to space to the left and right well that's what I want to do I want to add padding left of 10 pixels and that's gonna make sure that it isn't butted up against any corners and the last thing I want to do is I want to add a border left of one pixel solid black now a lot of people ask me this in I think it's kinda of like <coughs> oh man got freaking whooping cough it's kinda of ticking me off I think it's kinda of funny because everyone's like hey how did you get a horizontal line because or excuse me a vertical line because you know whenever you're coding you can make horizontal lines with this tag right there well I always uh you know make like the border left or border right of something one pixel and solid and everyone's like how the heck do you make a vertical line is it like VR tag I'm like no you just have to make the border of something one pixel and anyways that's my nice little boring story about you know uh, vertical lines hope you enjoyed it but the good news is um, first of all you don't have to listen to any more of my stupid stories about borders and second we are done styling the chat room in the next video we're gonna be building the core HTML file which is basically you know uh, a pretty freaking important piece of this chat room and then we have one more file to go the big old master JavaScript file where everything comes together so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and by the way join Bucky's room check this out pretty freaking cool oh look at this gonna click here's a picture of me and my sister anyways um thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video